Welcome to another day of smoking with Joe. Today we're gonna smoke some deviled eggs. But before we get going, make sure that you stick around to the very end because we're gonna be giving away some discount coupon codes to get some great deals at bradleysmoker.com. Okay, making deviled eggs is actually really simple. And I've got eight large size hard boiled eggs. I've already hard boiled them and I put them in cold water and I peeled them, so here they are. Uh, it's very simple, just a few ingredients. We have some white wine vinegar, we have some chopped chives, we have some Dijon mustard, uh, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and paprika. So the next step is taking the egg, you're gonna need a knife for that, and just cutting it in half. We'll just give it a nice cut right down the middle. As you can see, you've got the yolk on either side. You just wanna pop the yolk out into the container here. Okay, so there you go. We have the uh, egg yolks done. As you can see, they're in the container here. But before I add the ingredients, I'm just gonna uh, mix it all up until it's kind of rice size. Let's get all the big chunks out with the fork. Okay, now that that's done, it's gonna add the uh, mayonnaise. That's a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Next, I'm gonna add the mustard and a teaspoon of white vinegar. And a pinch of salt, a couple of pinches of salt, pepper. Perfect. I'm gonna save the uh, paprika for the very end. We're gonna put in uh, about two heaping tablespoons of cut chives. So you can be pretty liberal with these. I might even go two and a half. And let's mix it all up. And that's a nice consistency right here. It's not a slurry, it's, it's kind of stiff. You want to mix all the salt and the pepper through it and the vinegar and the mayonnaise and the mustard. Now it's just a matter of taking the mixture and uh, putting it back into the eggs. So I'll need a spoon for that. You just want to fill them up as evenly as you can, but some are going to be different. All right, so they're pretty even now. Not bad at all. This is why I cut a lot of chives. I want to sprinkle the rest of them on, on the top as a garnish. And last but not least, it's time for the paprika. And this is just to make it look pretty, really. Well, these turned out great. So, time to go into the smoker. I got halfway to the smoker and I decided, you know, this is probably the perfect opportunity to do an experiment, because I love experiments, especially with smoke. You don't do them often enough and you wind up you know, missing out on the perfect blends. So what I decided to do here was I took four halves out. I'm gonna leave them out of the smoker. I'm not gonna smoke them at all. I've got six halves and six halves. So 12 halves in total. I'm gonna smoke this six for 20 minutes, and I'm gonna smoke this six for 40 minutes. Um, I wanna see what the difference is. You know, I, I usually smoke deviled eggs for about 40 minutes. I've tried them in an hour, I've tried them in an hour and a half, and personally, that's too much smoke for me. So I think uh, 40 minutes is, is a good starting point. I'm gonna back off even more and just see what kind of a flavor 20 minutes of smoke gives me. So. That's the big experiment for the day. Okay, as you can see, the smoke is running. All I did was turn on the smoke generator for an hour. I've got three pucks in there, and I'm really only gonna time uh, using my iPhone, so I'm not really setting anything here. So I know what time this is going in, and in 20 minutes, I'll be taking out the first six. Well, now's the moment of truth. We have the uh, no smoke, we have 20 minutes worth of smoke, and the 40 minute smoke. 
I can smell the smoke coming off them, even though they were only in there for, for 40 minutes at the max. And uh, really the colors aren't that much different. They're just a hint of tan on the smoked uh, deviled eggs, but, but that's about it. So let's try them out and see what the difference is. Okay, the basic, always a hit. It's a for sure. I mean, I like deviled eggs. They don't have to be smoked. Let's try the uh, 20 minutes. Well, that's interesting. The um, the flavor of the deviled egg still comes through, and you definitely get a smoke hit on those. So that that's actually not bad. You taste every ingredient in the deviled egg. It's kind of what I like, except now it's got a smoke spice to it or a smoke flavor to it. All right, time for the 40 minute. Not bad at all. To be honest with you, there's not much difference. A little subtler, this one's got a little bit more of a, a, a kind of a zip to it because of the smoke. I think if you were to let them sit in the fridge for another, you know, couple of hours, that would probably dissipate somewhat. But they're definitely smoked deviled eggs. It's hard to say which one I like more. The 40 minute is also very good. So, Varying degrees of smoke, they both taste great as a smoked deviled egg. And of course the plain deviled egg tastes good too. So it's really your choice. I mean, as I always say, experiment. Find out exactly what you like. And you'd be surprised, it might be the hit of the party. And as promised, here's the uh, discount coupon code for bradleysmoker.com. Make sure you go and check them out. Hmm. See you next time. 20 minute I think is my new favorite.